10 weird and exotic insects you won't believe exist. When talking about insects, one's mind usually wanders towards the insects you come across in your daily routine, like houseflies, mosquitoes, or cockroaches. But little do you know that there are more than a million different species of insects. With such a vast range of these little creatures treading our planet, it's safe to say that some insects are so exotic and weird, it'll be hard for you to believe they actually exist. Welcome to Mind Read, where today we bring you a list of 10 weird and exotic insects that inhabit our planet. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we make a new upload. As always, make sure to stick around for the top picks we'll be saving for the last. Let's begin! Number 10. Trump Caterpillar So, what do you reckon this insect looks like? Let us explain a little. Many have wondered about the exact nature of Donald Trump's hair. Is it the world's worst toupee? A poorly executed but elaborate comb over? A weird, incredibly expensive weave? The world may never know, but we prefer to think it's inspired by nature. Not another human's lovely locks, of course, but those of this animal, which some have taken to calling the Trump Caterpillar, or simply the trump pillar The southern flannel caterpillar, or more recently dubbed the Trump Caterpillar, is one of the most dangerous bugs in the United States. The moth caterpillar resembles a fluffy animal or a toupee, perhaps, but it is far from cuddly. It is covered in hair that hides its poisonous, venom-filled spines. Southern flannel caterpillars are widespread in the United States and can commonly be found on the East Coast, in states stretching from New Jersey to Florida. They can even be found as far west as Texas and Arkansas. Number 9. The Hercules Beetle the largest beetle in Central America and the strongest insect on our planet, the Hercules beetle has a really fitting name. It is also one of the largest flying insects in the world and can be easily found in rainforests of Central America, South America, and a group of islands in the Caribbean Sea called the Lesser Antilles. The large size of this monstrosity of an insect is partially due to its long horn, which in some cases can grow bigger than the actual body of the creature. Hercules beetles are very sexually dimorphic, meaning that males and females look very different. The females do not have two horns like the males do, but the actual body of the female is larger than the male. The males have two horns. The top longer one comes out of the body and the bottom comes out of the head. They are used to fight other male Hercules beetles for defense and for mating rights. What the beetle does is pick up the enemy in its horns, fly up and slam it down into the ground, causing the enemy to break its neck. Not only is it strong, but it can give you one heck of a body slam. Despite the scary looks, Hercules beetles are a popular pet, especially in Asia where it's very expensive to acquire one. The large horns are not dangerous to humans. The only way that a Hercules beetle could hurt their owner is by scratching them with the sharp claws that they have at the end of each leg. Number 8. The Tailed Emperor Butterfly Caterpillar This one is probably one of the most interesting looking insects out there on our planet. Butterflies are cool. We can all agree on that. They just add to the beauty of our world. But this caterpillar, with its green color and horns on its head, certainly has some of the most distinct looks out there. Native only to Australia, the caterpillars of the tailed emperor are green in color with a four-horned head. A yellow line runs along each side, and the back is marked by one or more crescent shapes. They feed on various species of wattle and some other plants, such as poinciana and Chinese elm. They rest on a silken pad on plants, from which they make short trips to feed on nearby leaves and then return. Despite the caterpillar being green, the butterfly they turn into carries no similarities. An adult-tailed emperor butterfly's upper side is boldly marked in black and white with narrow blue-gray margins and specks of orange on its hind wings. The prominent double-pointed tail gives the butterfly its name. The underwing of both sexes are marked in complex patterns of red and yellow-brown against a white background, bordered by black outlines and an orange edge to the hind wing. Talk about a complete makeover! Number 7. The Giraffe Weevil one of the most famous but also most bizarre bugs on the planet can be found in the eastern rainforests of Madagascar. And this shouldn't be a surprise, but it gets its name from having a long neck like a giraffe. First found in 1860 by a French entomologist and found on no other place on the planet other than Madagascar, the giraffe weevil can grow up to about 25 millimeters and has a black body with a bright red or orange colored wing sheath. The insects can be easily identified as either male or female by looking at the length of the neck. A longer neck indicates a male. 
The bug has a party trick as well. It might be easy to spot one of these in their natural habitat, but be advised, when they're disturbed, they pull out their transparent wings and fly away. So much for having a bright red or orange fancy wing cover. Number 6. Hummingbird Hawk Moth The hummingbird hawk moth is an amazing insect that replicates many of the features that humans have come to love in hummingbirds. Like their namesake birds, these large moths are able to hover while feeding on the nectar of flowers. And their similarities to hummingbirds don't stop there. They also generate a buzzing hum during flight, and it's not uncommon in Europe for amateur birders to misidentify them as hummingbirds, even though hummingbirds only occur in the Western Hemisphere. Like the long beak on most hummingbirds, the hummingbird hawk moth also has a specialized feeding apparatus, an extraordinarily long tongue-like proboscis that rolls out from its resting, coiled shape to reach deep inside a flower. This super straw is often double the length of the moth's body. Beyond their buzzing flight and fancy proboscis, these moths have a number of other interesting features. Chief among them are some really weird eyes. A hummingbird hawk moth's eyes are huge and kind of creepy looking. In fact, it will appear as though it's watching you no matter where you stand relative to the moth's position. This is due to an optical illusion created by its massive compound eyes. The result? This trick of the light generates a pseudo pupil that always seems to be giving you the evil eye. Around Europe, hummingbird hawk moths are also seen as a good omen. During the D-Day invasion of Normandy in World War II, Allied soldiers allegedly spotted a swarm of these moths crossing the English Channel. Soldiers took this as a sign of their impending success to establish a foothold in France. Number 5. Elephant Hawk Moth The elephant hawk moth is a pretty golden olive with bright pink bars on the wings and body that can be seen at dusk in gardens, parks, woods, and grassy habitats. The elephant hawk moth is so-called because the caterpillar looks a little like an elephant's trunk. As protection from predators, it can make itself seem larger and emphasize its eye spots. But the large caterpillars only pretend to be fierce. When threatened by a hungry bird or unsuspecting passerby, they retract their heads and puff out their bulbous necks. Complete with the fake eyes, this display is sometimes enough to convince their attacker that they are a dangerous and snake-like creature. Like all hawk moths, they are strong flyers. Their ability to beat their wings quickly and hover into position when feeding has earned them the hawk part of their name. Number 4. Luna Moth Luna moths are large, beautifully colored insects. They have bright green wings and white, fuzzy bodies. Their large wings have long tails that sprout from the base, giving them a unique, elegant appearance. Most luna moths are about 4 or 5 inches across, but some specimens can be larger than 7 inches. Luna moths have eye spots on their wings. Eye spots are round marks on the wings that resemble eyes. Scientists believe that these eye spots can confuse or deter predators, which may think that the animal is larger than it actually is based on the size of these eyes. Instead of having perfectly rounded wings, luna moths have long protrusions that extend from each rear wing. In addition to their aesthetic appeal, these wing tails actually serve a purpose. Scientists believe that the wing tails disrupt the echolocation of bats, one of the most skilled predators of the luna moths. The typical lifespan of this creature when it's fully grown is about a week. Just enough time for it to mate with a female and for the female to then lay its eggs. In this way, the life cycle of the species continues. Now, before we head into our top three picks, since you've made it this far, we would really appreciate if you subscribe to our channel. And also, give a thumbs up if you've liked it so far. Number three, Devil's Flower Mantis. The Devil's Flower Mantis is a species of large praying mantis found among wildflowers of Eastern Africa. The scientific name of the Devil's Flower Mantis is Italomantis diabolica. Devil's flower mantises grow to be roughly 10 to 13 centimeters, 4 to 5 inches, but the females generally larger than the males, and they are among the largest of all praying mantises. Adult devil's flower mantises are mostly green colored on their top side, while underneath they're colored green, white, red, black, and purple, though some of these colors are not visible unless threatened. While an adult can assume the appearance of a flower, a young devil's flower mantis is brown and appears to be a dead leaf, causing it to be camouflaged in its surroundings. If threatened, a devil's flower mantis will rear up its body and front legs, causing its hidden flaps to flare out and display vibrant colors, making it look somewhat like a flower, and the mantis often waves about to frighten the predator. Devil's flower mantises are popularly sought among as exotic pets. However, they do not thrive in captivity and are quite expensive. Number 2. Orchid Mantis 
The orchid mantis looks like a flower. An orchid, if you could imagine. It has a white, semi-translucent body with colored accents on its long, slender limbs. These colors can be pink, orange, yellow, green, or brown, and they can change depending on the exact camouflage required in the mantis's habitat. Some orchid mantises even have dark sections on their abdomens that look like the ovule of a budding flower. You might suspect they're a Photoshop masterpiece, but the orchid mantises are very real. They live in the rainforests of Southeast Asia, and they're popular among hobbyists and bug collectors, just like butterflies and beetles. Orchid mantises are carnivores, and they feed on other insects to survive. Their flower-like appearance allows them to lure in prey. They don't even have to hunt. They can simply perch on a leaf and wait for another critter to come along to them. The wolf in sheep's clothing of the insect world. Number 1. Elvis Presley Shield Bug who would have thought that the king of rock and roll would return to us on the back of a shield bug? But that's exactly what happened in 2012, when a photographer spotted a species of the Pentatomidae bug that had markings on its back, resembling human eyes, nose, mouth, and a very special hairdo. One that highly resembled the one Elvis used to have. Photographer Darlene Morosky from Massachusetts, US, was on a photographic assignment with National Geographic in the Khao Chong Forest Reserve in southern Thailand when she came across the unusual creature sitting on a leaf. The bug had previously been spotted in the forests of Singapore, where it was likened to the Sesame Street character Bert. Now, who do you think this bug resembles more, Elvis or Bert? Let us know in the comments below!